Hello friends, myself Gaurav Jagdish Patak with working with Recent Engineering College as Assistant Professor. Welcome all of you in today's session of Engineering Thermodynamics and the topic on which we are focusing today is the various requirement accessories, mountings and essential parts for the boilers. The boilers are we can say is the steam generator and while generation of steam it will require some essential mountings on there. What kind of such mountings we can see for proper and safe functioning of steam generator that are water level indicator, pressure gauge, safety wall, stop wall, blow up cock, feed check wall, fusible plug. These are the parts to which we can say the mountings for the particular boilers. Now in the previous article we have already seen that the, there are a basic two types of boilers are there. Number one is fire tube boiler and number two is water tube boiler. In the both the cases the condition is that there is the generation of steam by heating the water with the help of combustion of fuel or any other media. So the level of water is must be indicated for the user or any manhole for that particular checking of its level. The water level indicator function is it indicates the water level inside the boiler to the observer. The second function for is the, it, it is the safety device it is the safety device upon which the correct working of the boiler will be depends. It may be seen in front of the boiler and are generally two in the numbers. It consists of steam, cock and water cock and drain cock. Another part which shows the pressure of the particular steam generated into the container, the name of that particular part is the pressure gauge. It is a totally made up by the mechanical arrangement and the function of pressure ga gauge is to measure the pressure of the steam inside the steam boiler. It is fitted in the front of steam boiler. It consists of elliptical elastic tube which is called as burdon tube which is bent into the, an arc or circular form which is called uh, which, which is have particular measuring slashes or scale we can say and the pointer is attached which can be directly visualized to the user and gives the pressure into the boiler. One end of the tube is fixed and connected to the steam space in the boiler and the other end is connected to the sector through the link. The third important part is safety wall and it is used to preventing the explosion due to excessive internal pressure of the steam. Now, it gives the function to blow up the steam when the pressure of the steam inside the boiler exceeds to the working pressure. There are four types of safety walls that are lever safety wall, deadweight safety wall, high steam and low water safety wall, spring loaded safety walls. These kinds of safety walls are serve as the purpose of maintaining the constant safe pressure inside the steam. The, all the safety walls are having the same function that is to serve as the purpose of to maintain the constant pressure inside the steam generator that is boiler and container. As the pressure get increases of high temperature and high pressure it is if it is go beyond the limit then it will be cause of accident which poses the higher hazardous to the human as well as structural requirements. It consists of wall body with the planes fixed to the steam boiler and bronze wall seat screwed to the body and bronze wall are placed upon it. Same kind of dead wet safety wall and high steam and low water safety walls are works for the steam generators. Spring loaded safety wall is another important aspect in these all four types which is in front of your screen. It is used for locomotive and marine boilers. The spring is made up of 
round or square steel rod which is in the helical form of place in compression. It consists of cast iron body connected to the top of boiler and it has two separate walls of the same size having their sitting in the upper end of the two hollow wall chest. These wall chests are untitled by the bridge and base into the boiler to the mounting block of bridge and base as boiler to the mounting block on the top of boiler over the firebox. Now there is this arrangement of blow off cock and the blow off cock is fitted at the bottom of the boiler drum and consists of conical plug fitted to the body of casting. The casting is packaged with absence of packing which grows around the top of bottom of the plug. The shank of the plug passes through the gland and with stub box from the cover. The plug is held by the yoke and the stud box. The principal function of the blow off cock are to empty the boiler whenever they required and to discharge the mud scale sealing from the accumulated at the bottom of the boiler. Now, what are the boiler accessories required? These are feed pump, super heater, economizer and air preheater. The various function of air preheater and feed pumps are there for particular use of the body of boiler. That's all for, for the mountings and accessories. We will see this or another topic of this subject. Thank you friends. Thank you very much.